All right, now we're going to look at some of the parts and components used in circuit bending. This is about as simple as it gets. This is just a 9-volt battery hooked up to a red LED that's right here. The first thing we're going to look at is a toggle switch. And if you notice on the toggle switch, there are three lugs down here at the bottom. Those are solder lugs. Those are what we're going to be soldering our wires to. And just for demonstration purposes, I'll show you that all you have to do is hook up one side of the circuit to the middle lug, one side of the circuit to the outer lug, and you see our LED has come on. Now when we flip the switch, it turns off. So that's a toggle switch. It just turns on and off. And as far as the outside lugs, we can just unhook this side, flip it over, hook it to this side. Now the LED is on again. And sure enough, when we turn it the other direction, now it turns off. All right, using the same 9-volt battery and LED, we're going to look at a normally open, momentary push-button switch. You'll see at the bottom there's only two solder lugs this time. We'll hook this up in the circuit, and you'll see once we have it hooked up, the LED does not light. However, when we press this button, it does. And then when we let go, it's off again. Reason being, it's normally open, meaning it's an open circuit, and when we press this button, it's now closing the circuit to turn on and off the LED. Now I'm going to show you the opposite of the last switch, which this is a normally closed momentary push-button switch. Again, just still two solder lugs at the bottom. When we hook this into the circuit, you'll see the LED comes on. Now then, what this is good for is a reset switch on your circuit bent toy. A lot of times we'll bend a toy and it will get to a point where it just locks up and the normal on-off switch on the toy doesn't work anymore. So then you would normally have to take the batteries out, put the batteries back in. But what you can do is, in line with the battery, just like this, you can put this normally closed push-button switch and when you push it, it actually disables the current through the toy, therefore turning it off and then when you let go, it'll turn it back on. Using our same 9-volt battery and LED setup, I'm going to show you the potentiometer. This has a rotating shaft. You would put a knob on here, and you'll turn this. Once again, like the toggle switch, there are three lugs. We're going to use the middle lug and one of the outside lugs, and so we'll hook up the middle lug and one of the outer lugs and we'll see the LED is barely lit. As we turn this clockwise, we'll see that it goes brighter. And as we turn it counterclockwise, we see it goes dim. Now say we want the opposite to happen. All right, so we'll unhook this side. Now the LED will be full on. As we turn it clockwise, the LED goes dim. As we turn it back counterclockwise, now the LED is lit. Next, I'm going to show you a photoresistor or sometimes called a photocell or CDS cell. This is the outside, which will face out towards the light. And this is the backside with the two solder connections. And this operates very similarly to the potentiometers that I showed you earlier. So basically when we hook this up to the circuit, you'll see the LED will turn on. And now when I wave my hand in front of the photocell, I'm not actually even touching it. It will shut the LED off and anywhere in between with varying how much light actually hits the surface of the photocell. Now I'm going to talk about body contacts. For this demonstration, I'm using a brass spike. Nothing really special about it, just a piece of conductive metal using the battery and a blue LED. So I'm going to zoom in just so you can see what I'm talking about. I have two spikes hooked up here to the alligator clips. I have a blue LED and basically instead of the electricity flowing between these two points, I'm going to grab one with one hand, grab one with the other, and you'll see the LED turns on. So the electricity is actually flowing through one hand, through my arms, down to the other hand, and making the connection. There is no sensation of shock or anything. I don't feel a thing because the current is so low on this. And when I let go, the LED goes out. 
So that's all a body contact is, is connecting two points with your hands.